Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be making your face, but more exactly or more precisely, we're going to be making a stamp out of your face. That's right. We're going to stamp your face. Congratulations. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using something called a Bitmoji for anybody who um, has used some filters on Snapchat. I believe Bitmoji started there and then created its own app just for itself and here we go. We're gonna start with Bitmoji and your name. Go ahead and do that. Now you're probably saying, hey, I don't have a Bitmoji. Well, maybe you can have a friend make one for you on their phone or if you don't have any friends, you can just rethink your life choices and ask yourself why you don't have any friends. However, let's just uh, do a search for Bitmoji, it's spelled B-I-T. M-O-J-I, and go to the images, select one that you want to use. It doesn't have to be you, it could be anything. But here, I'm gonna give you some tips right now, so pay attention. It works better when there's a higher contrast with the skin and the hair. The hair works better when it's a higher contrast between, let me see if we can see this, yeah. When there's a higher contrast between the black lines and the color of the hair. So if this were blonde, you would still have the black line here and the yellow hair here. And when you go to transfer it, the lines will stick out and you'll be like, oh, that looks like real cool hair. Right now, if we were to transfer this, it would be a block of hair. It's still the same shape, but it would just be all black, which is cool. It just, you get more contrast with blonde hair. So if you have your Bitmoji and you're like, you know what, I really want the best contrast, for a little bit, just for this exercise, change it to blonde. Um, white would make a better contrast against the black outline, but try it without changing and see what you get if you're not happy with it. And you can always you know, change it for a little while, that way you can get a higher contrast between the black and white and see what you get there. All right, so anyways, you can right click, save this. I'm just gonna use mine. Mind you, you don't have to do this one in particular. You can just use anything that you find here that you like, but it has to be Bitmoji. This one right here um, is not a Bitmoji. You can tell because there's no outline. See, and that's what you want. You really do want the outline to be there. So here you can see the outline right there. And in mine, you'll see that I'm even wearing glasses on mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and import because I already uh, created mine, sent it, sent it through email. I'm gonna choose my file and hopefully it's still there. I'm not sure if I deleted it earlier should say Adrian, oh, it's in column mode. I wanna change it to list because it usually has the newest things on top. Adrian nameplate, Adrian drawing. Uh, is it here? Adrian STL SVG. Should be a picture of me. Oh, there it is, it's up here. Um, oh, <laughs> we can't use that yet. We have to go to our favorite online converter which is called online-convert. And of course there's gonna be a link and the uh, in the description of this video, I'm gonna go from uh, image to, let me scroll for some reason, it's not going down, to SVG. I had several students ask me, Mr. Amparo, it's not working, or just they just yelled it out without raising their hand, kind of rude. And I said, did you choose the SVG? And of course, they did not. Why? Because they don't listen. You know how children are. I'm gonna go to downloads, because that's where I kept my stuff. And this, no, that's not it, PNG. That's what it saved it as originally. I'm gonna click start and it's gonna show up right around here, I believe. <gasps> there it is, download SVG. I'm gonna change this, nope, doing a UFO, not today. I'm doing Bitmoji, so I'm gonna save it in my Bitmoji file. You are probably gonna have it in your downloads, but where's my Bitmoji? There it is, Bitmoji. I'm gonna change the name, that way I know this is Adrian SVG. I don't have to write the SVG, I just like putting it on there, that way I can see it better when I look for it. All right, we're good here. I'm going to now import it, choose my file, and I'm going here, Bitmoji, oh, there it is, and Adrian SVG, just like I named it, and let's see what, what we get this time, import. Now, I had this problem last time, I had no nose, and the eyes look really weird, so I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna hit shift. Now, remember what I said about the hair? I currently have a block of hair. That's fine, right? 
please pay attention to these numbers. They're very important. Otherwise, you're not gonna have a stamp. And in my class, I'm not gonna let you print it. I want the height to be 40. So I'm going to go here. Let's see what the height is now, 56, just a little bit more. I'm gonna hit shift and go down. Oh, I forgot this is really not very sensitive. So right about there, that's close enough. I'm just gonna get 40 right there now. At this point, we're good to go. Okay, so let's focus in. We're obviously missing a nose, we're missing eyes. Now you're probably wondering, well, how do we fix this? You could just, you know, get a cylinder put an eye there. In fact, mm, should I do it? I'm not. Here's what I'm gonna do. Now you can add detail to these things. That's fine. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this thing because I want this to be a little bit better than, than what we have here. So I'm going to hit control D. I'm gonna move this aside. That's our original. I'm going to keep it there. And I'm going to mess with this. So I'm going to get a giant block. I'm gonna get rid of the top part of this right around there. And then I'm gonna hit another, I'm gonna get another block. Doop. And I'm gonna get rid of the bottom part here. And then I'm going to, oh, the block went over here. I'm gonna get rid of this part right there. And I'm gonna duplicate this, which unfortunately they think I want it over there, but I don't. So I'm using the shift and arrow key to make it move a little bit faster. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to duplicate this shape and then I'm gonna use it as a tool. In fact, I don't even need both of them. What I'm gonna do is I wanna isolate one of these. There you go. And why am I doing this? Again, it makes it just a little bit more human and don't we all need to be a little bit more human except for me i like being the robot so um actually let's move this down a little bit i'm going to change the angle here because i want to get rid of that little corner of the i'm not sure if you saw that but a little corner of the glasses there you go all right looks like we're good to go here i got rid oh yeah it's taking too much so i'm gonna um, it's already selected so i'm gonna use the arrow key to move it slightly that's fine. I'm going to let this and this slide for right now. Actually, maybe not that one. Move this closer. There it is. I can get rid of the top one too. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to angle this one a little bit. Just 1 degree. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? My 1 degree changed a little bit. So, I'm going to zoom in. I think we're good to go. Oh, look at this right here. I'm not sure you guys can see that. A little bit sticking out i'm gonna just get rid of that hopefully i don't know let's see does it move a little bit a lot of, a lot of bit okay oh man okay that's fine i'm just gonna accept it the way it is i will give myself forgiveness but at the same time there it is that's exactly what we want except for that little piece right there so i'm just gonna make that go away don't tell anyone i got rid of it that's right it'll be our little secret it is gone Finally. Okay. So here's what I want now. I'm going to make this into a hole, clicking on that. Now I'm going to bring it over here. Let's zoom in here so you can see the details that we want. Okay. So I'm going to shrink the hole shape by hitting and holding the shift button. And then I'm going to move it. Oh, I'm going to just move that straight up. Okay, so do I want that shape? It's a good shape. In fact, I think we're good with that. Yeah, that's great. So all I did was shrink it and then I moved it, or I uh, made it taller. As long as it's making a hole down here and there it is, there's the hole. Now before I group it, I wanna do the same thing on the other side, Control D. And then I'm going to use the mirror tool and I want it to go over here. There it is. So I'll do the same thing over here. And let's see, I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna group these two, control G, or you can click on this up here. Now the eyes look a little bit weird, but now we can solve the problem just by having one of these things. I'm gonna maximize the sides. I'm gonna hit shift and then almost there. 
I'm going to hit shift again. Now, it's hard to tell, so I'm just going to shrink this a little bit to just two. That looks better, but I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. I'm going to hit shift, and then the reason I hit shift is so that it can go down uniformly. That looks about right. Let's take a look from far away. Kind of creepy. I get that, but, but I've accepted who I am. I am a creep and a weirdo. What am I doing here? Okay. I think the eyes are good, except they're sticking out. They look like lasers. How tall is this thing right here? Anybody know? 140. Let's make that two. And then let's make the eye two as well. And then here, let's make that two. All right. We are good, except don't have a nose. And believe me, I smell. I smell all the time. Ask my students. But I can't do that without a nose. So let's fix that. This is how we fix a nose. Now, maybe you have your own version of a nose that you want to use. Feel free. I'm showing you my way. Why? Because I'm the one recording this. So I'm going to maximize the sides. I'm going to duplicate this. Control D. Make that one a hole. I'm going to move the air with the arrow keys. Just move it over. And I'm going to be making my nose. Okay, that's not bad. So I'm going to group this and uh, control G. So there we go. We have the beginning of a nose. Now, if you're okay with this, heck, you're done, right? You've got your nose. Well, we're just waiting for this to render, but let's go ahead and start moving it over here. Focus on this. I'm going to hit shift and then I'm going to hold the shift button. I'm going to drag this down. Uh, shall we make it two? Yeah, let's make it two for right now. Now, all noses are personal, right? If this doesn't look like your nose, you're not happy with it, you could just, you know, change it. Now, mind you, I don't look like Rudolph. I don't look like a clown. Well, don't ask my students, but I think I don't look like a clown, and that's what's more, most important. So you could just have half a circle here, right? I'm not going to do that. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to shrink this. There it is. Now you could just say, hey, there's my nose. I'm cool. But in in the real bitmoji, it looks more like you could you could do that. I'm gonna make it look like a little bit a little bit like a bitmoji. So I'm gonna do this. I'm duplicating and I'm gonna drag it over. And I'm gonna select these right here and I'm gonna click on F so that I can get closer. See, don't like that part. Oops. Let me click over here. All right, that's not bad. But in the Bitmoji, it changes a little bit. It makes this part skinnier and then a little bit like that. And this one, it curves. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to give you a number for this because I'm just making this up. And again, you want it to look like your nose. That's great. I'm going to get rid of this because it's just easier to just duplicate this. Drag it over here and then mirror it this direction. There, now I have the same exact angle. So there's another nose. Maybe you don't like it because it's too big. Well, make it smaller. It's your nose. You own it. So I'm going to group this. And then I'm going to play with the dimensions, F. Now here's a warning though. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I made the mistake. You don't want it to be so thin. I'm talking about the line itself. You don't want it to be so thin that the printer will not print it. I did this before and it came out with no nose. Not cool. So... Honestly, I think this nose is a little too big for my face. I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to shrink it. Oh, forgot to select everything. There it is. Now it's selected everything. I'm going to focus on here and I'm going to drag. I'm going to, I'm going to hold the shift button. And of course I want it to be also, let me just group it. Uh, oops. I just want to group these right here. Hit control G it's grouped. I want it to be two in height, but I think the printer will not print this, so I'm going to make it like that. All right, I'm going to say that's acceptable. It's a little bit weird considering it's orange, and who wants an orange nose, all right? So, sorry. Um, let's just go ahead. I'm not sure what color this is. looks like green-ish. Let's just make it all of this. Let's just make it black. They're easier to see. Whoa, I think that looks much better. The nose still is a little bit weird. Again, you can just use 
the half circle I used and you'd be fine. In fact, man, this looks really ugly. I'm going to change this. Now, for you also, what you can do is modify. If you want to add something, maybe add a tattoo. I don't know, maybe a nose ring. Up to you. Your parents can't say anything. Well, they could, but it's too late. It's forever in Bitmoji. So this nose is less noticeable. I think I like that one better, but let me check the height because we all need this to be the same height. Okay, we're all good again. <laughs> it honestly looks like a nose ring, but I'm okay with that, all right? I'm not trying to judge anyone. So there it is. There's the, the thing. There's our face, but we need to make a stamp out of it. Now, all we need to do is make it go a little bit higher, a little bit uh, bigger than the outline. What did we have before? If you remember correctly, we had 40 in the height. So I'm gonna change that to 50. And honestly, I don't remember what the length, the width was because I don't think we even checked. I'm gonna change this to one so I can see what's going on here. Obviously not centered. So I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna use the align tool to make sure this is aligned. And there we go, click that one. We are, my nose, always getting in the way. Always putting it where it doesn't belong. Okay. So there you go. There's me, awesome me, right? But here's the thing. If you were to try to use this like this, if you were to try to use this like this as a stamp, trust me, I know by experience, it would not work. Well, it would kind of work. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this a five, perfect. And this, would it's a one right now, let's make it, uh, let's make it a two. That's substantial. Very important numbers. Why isn't this nose listening to me? Now I forgot what it was. Is it a three? Sorry, I'm getting so emotional. Oh, this is a five. I thought, yeah, okay, five. And so we're not, you know, doing this again. I'm going to control, shift, all that stuff and group it. There we go. We're done. Now, if you wanted to, if you want to make this a little bit more special, because obviously who doesn't think they're special? I know that's most of you, but just in case people don't know who it actually is, well, here's what you can do. Add text and tell people, hey, this is me and I'm obviously awesome. And who wouldn't believe that you made this, right? Especially with this, but you cannot use this as a stamp right now. Why? Because can anybody figure out why this would not work as a stamp? Anyone, anyone? That's right, because it needs to be flipped. When you're stamping something, you're, you're making a copy of it that's facing the wrong way. You have to turn this backwards, so you're now emosiwa. Yes, we always knew you were emosiwa, but now it's official, emosiwa. Let's just change that to black, why? Because it looks cooler that way. All right, so all you need, let's see if this is all the way down before we keep on going, and if you were in my class, go ahead and raise your hand and say, I am Emosewa, and I will get you something if you're the first one to do that. I'm gonna move this up a little bit, and I think we are done. Don't forget to subscribe because I'll be making more awesome stuff like Emosewa in the future, and thank you for listening.